Hi there everyone, my name is Bill Tomas, product engineer here at Aldex, here today to show you how to program your 7 series FPGAs on Aldex's new ASIC prototyping platform, the HES 7. To program the 7 series FPGA using a USB cable, you will need a power supplier with a 6 pin PCIe power connector. You can use any standard PC power supplier as long as it meets the minimum specifications in the tech spec of the HES 7. You will also need the HES 7 board along with a USB 2.0 cable. Also, for safety, you should use ESD grounding straps to make sure that you are properly grounded. First, connect one end of the USB 2.0 cable to the HES 7 board. Connect the other end of the USB cable to an available USB port on your host PC. Next, connect the PCIe power supply connector to the HES 7 board. From here, turn on the power supplier in your host PC. Now that we have the host PC loaded, open up a command prompt and now lead to your HES 7 installation folder. Next, make sure that the Spartan 6 device is programmed correctly. If programmed incorrectly, the HES 7 board may not operate. In your command prompt, navigate to the folder in which you install the HES 7 software. Inside the installation directory, you'll find that there is a folder called Tools. Navigate to the Tools folder. Inside the Tools folder, you'll find the HES 7 prototyping application. Run the HES 7 proto.exe along with the flag dash dash list. This checks the connection from the host PC to the HES 7 board. If successful, it displays the board along with the devices on board. You can also run a dash dash help flag to show you the available options. To program the 7 series device, there are three different flags. Dash dash kinsec 7 underscore 0 with an argument to the path of a bit string file to configure the Kinsec 7 device, dash dash vertex 7 underscore 1 with the argument to a path to a bit string file to configure the first vertex device, and dash dash vertex 7 underscore 2 with the argument path to a bit string file which configures the second vertex 7 device. Now let's go ahead and configure a single Kinsec 7 device. Use the HES 7 proto.exe application with a flag dash dash kintex 7 underscore 0 and then provided a path to a bitstream file to be programmed onto the kintex 7 device. Go ahead and hit enter. Also to note if you would like to program more than one FPGA simultaneously, you can actually add another flag. So if you wanted to program the Vertex 7 device while programming the Kinsec 7, no, let's go ahead and do all this over again. Now let's go ahead and program the Kinsec 7 device. Use the HES 7 proto.exe along with the flag dash dash Kinsec 7 underscore zero and then provided a path to the bitstream file for the Kinsec 7. Also note if you would actually like to program more than one FPGA sequentially you can actually add another flag. If you were to pro if you wanted to program both the Kinsec 7 and the Vertex 7 you would just simply add another flag. For our demonstration, let's just go ahead and program the Kinsec 7 device. So go ahead and hit enter. As you can see here, a status bar comes up showing the programming of the Kinsec 7 device. When finished, it displays a message. Your 7 series FPGAs are done in. Your, the rest of your 7 series FPGAs can be configured in the same manner. To program the 7 series FPGAs on your HES 7 board, you will first need a power supplier with a 6-pin PCIe connector. 
You can use any power supplier as long as it meets the minimum specifications and the HES 7 technical specs. Next, you will need your HES 7 board. You will need a Xilinx platform cable. You will need ESD straps to properly ground yourself. The first step is to connect one end of the Xilinx platform cable to the HES 7 board. Next, connect the other end of the Xilinx platform cable to your host PC through an available USB port. Finally, connect a 6-pin PCIe power connector to the HES 7 board and turn on your power supplier. Then, turn on your host PC. Now that the host PC is running, you have loaded up Xilinx's impact software. First, verify that the Spartan 6 device was programmed correctly. If the Spartan device was not programmed correctly, the HES 7 may not operate. Open up Xilinx's ISC impact software and create a new project. Next, choose the option to configure the devices using boundary scan. Go ahead and hit OK. Impact now checks the connection of the platform cable from the host PC to the HES 7 board. As you can see in the configuration window are the Kintex device and both Vertex 7 devices. Simply assign configuration files to each FPGA in which you wish to configure. Make sure to use default settings that Xilinx ISC Impact sets when configuring the devices. This has been a program tutorial on your 7 Series FPGA on Aldex new AC prototype platform that has 7. My name is Bill Tomas, product engineer here at Aldex. If you have any further questions, please direct them to Aldex website, aldex.com. Thank you.